Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have gonna be on a little bit, maybe like a week or a week and a half, because I've been so busy. One of my best friends is in town, her daughter, and they're staying with me, and I've been like ripping and running and blah, blah, blah. So, hear my voice. <sighs> this weekend was a long but fun weekend. I had my middle school slash high school reunion, and like, oh, this is why I lost my voice, right? <sighs> You're a female, and you live in New York, in the winter time, and you're still trying to be cute. So I wore a dress and boots, and I had no stockings. I didn't really want to wear stockings, and we make my feet slide to the front. But I wore a dress and no stockings, and then between running back and forth from where cars parked, that's probably why I lost my voice, aside from screaming. It's like I keep getting louder and it's like off and on. I'm like losing my voice. Anyway, that's not what this video's about. This video is about the fact that I lost 10 pounds. I lost 10 pounds in seven days so far. I started the lose the butt, keep the butt. I started the lose the gut, keep the butt. <laughs> I don't want to lose the butt and keep the gut. My bad. I started the lose the gut, keep the butt challenge. It's a 60 day challenge with Anawa Aja. And it has been Especially considering the weekend, I almost fell like this many times. I almost fell from grace like this many times. I wanted everything. I wanted everything. But, I mean, I had a few slip ups, but apparently they didn't affect me because Friday I was at like nine pounds when I weighed in. And then on... Sunday? Sunday. No. What's today? Monday. This morning when I weighed in, I was 10 pounds less. So, I didn't gain any weight and I still lost a pound over the weekend. So, I'm not really complaining. Anyway, so this is what I've been doing. So, I had a detox, right? The first week was a detox. So, no fried food, no carbs, no junk, no nothing. I don't want to say no nothing, but I was able to eat fish, um, vegetables, fruit. So I tried to get like creative and stuff with it. So I'm gonna put like inserts if I if I can find them. Cause I've been having to clear out this phone. But inserts of like <clears throat> things that I may have eaten or choices that I've made. And so I've been having fish, fruits, and vegetables. And a protein shake. I, I have the protein shake like once a day after my workout. But that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to eat six meals a day. And I've been trying to drink four 16-ounce bottles of water per day. Right? On top of that, we have a workout that we do every morning. And the workouts are relatively between 24 minutes to 31 minutes. So, it's not something that's like not doable. It's doable. But you gotta push yourself. It's, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like, every single morning that I get up and I have to work out, it's like, I do not feel like working out. I'm still not like pumped, like, oh, I'm about to work out. I'm about to bust this workout out. not there I'm not but the scale is the motivation and I know that for me I, it wasn't really about losing the weight even though of course I want to lose weight but it's more so about me feeling good in my clothes me feeling attractive and sexy and for me it's being in shape so that's been that and a few things that I've noticed like along um, like up until today, it could be me, right? Even though I'm losing the weight, I feel like my thighs look bigger. Could be me, right? Um, but remember, this whole thing is about keeping your curves. So, okay, in the morning, I wake up, I'll probably try and have like a bottle of water trying to try to down, you know, my first fourth of water for the day. And then I'll put on the DVD. 
I take B12 for energy and metabolism, whatever. So I'll try and take a B12 and I'll try and take my vitamin. Don't always go in this order, but I try. I do my workout, sweat a little, whatever. And then I go and make my protein shake. I try and have my protein shake 30 minutes after my workout. I have my meals prepped. So if anything, I'll just pull something out to eat. Snacks, I'll have... Um, Okay, because you're having like three meals a day and then you're having three snacks in between. So for me, sometimes a snack is just an apple, a plum, a banana. Today I really, really wanted ice cream. So I just got some, I didn't even take a picture of it. I should have took a picture. I put uh, strawberries and banana, a little bit of almond milk inside of the blender. I blended it up. I put a few pieces of ice to chunk it up a little bit. <coughs> and that was my ice cream. So, yeah, I have three meals, three snacks, and then I try. That means I don't always hit the target, right? I try not to eat past 8 o'clock. Sometimes I miss the mark. Sometimes I miss the mark. But if I miss the mark, I'm doing so with like an apple or celery, or something like that, or a piece of fruit. But I go to sleep very late. So I think it may not affect me as much as it'll affect someone else. And that's really like all I've been doing. I've just been trying to be prepared. Every time I leave out of the house, I make sure that I got a piece of fruit in my bag or something. And I try and make sure that I have, oh, I carry green tea everywhere I go, just in case I come across some hot water. Um, and I'll carry like one meal. So for my meals, I've been doing greens, salad, fish. And for me, instead of using dressing, I'll use hummus or I'll use uh, fresh guacamole. I really, really love avocado. So that works for me. And I think if I, ev if, if I, um, try and bring bread back in, which I'm staying low from bread, I've been using Ezekiel bread which is a very acquired taste, but I still do it every now and then. But I think if I'm gonna have like a sandwich or something, instead of using mayo, I'm gonna use hummus or guacamole because they've been really hitting the spot. So anyway, I've been very low on my carbs and I've just been getting creative. Pinterest is your friend. You find so many creative meals and fun meals. Like one meal that I made, I wanted a taco so bad. So I got lettuce. I put tilapia on, on top of the lettuce. I put, um, I made some black beans. I, um, hold on. So I made sofrito, right? You know, you get the, the cilantro, the garlic, the onion, the pepper. I might be missing something. But you take all of that, blend it up. And like, I season my tilapia with it. I season my beans with it. And then I put, so I had the lettuce, tilapia, beans. And on top of that, I put like a little guacamole. And because I so, so, so love avocado, on top of the guacamole, I like put like a fourth of avocado on top. And I just rolled it up like it was a taco. And that did it for me. So, you got to find little ways to keep it interesting and also prepare yourself. If you prepare your meals and then also look up, find things that you really, really like. I was like, find things that you really, really like and put them all together. Because I've been using hummus and guacamole in my salads. And they've been so good to me. And people look like, oh, that's nasty. But I like those two things. I can eat them by itself. So... Find things that you really, really like. Make it interesting. Make it fun. And just, just do it. Don't think about it. Because every day, do I feel like eating healthy? No. Do I feel like exercising every day? No, I don't. But the results keep me motivated. And then this weekend, I had my class reunion. And I wanted... We pre-gamed at my house. Like, we all got together, the girls, and we, like, did our makeup and all of that stuff at the house. I wanted... They brought Popeyes to the house, bro. 
I had a weak point. That's when I had a piece of shrimp. But it was fried. And it's like, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. I had my friends. I was like, no, you're not eating that. So you also need people around you that know your goals and that's going to push you and help you. I went out to eat. Instead of having the junk that I wouldn't necessarily have, I had salmon and vegetables. You know? If you go to the movies, instead of having popcorn, pack some nuts. You know? So, anyway. And load up on water. I haven't been drinking juice or anything like that. If I have tea, I have it without sugar. I might have honey. Not even all the time. Water, 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 water. Anyway, that's what I did. And this is only day seven. So, I have 53 more days of this. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to strictly um, stick with just the fish, but it's been helping. So, I might just go along with it. Um, and I guess I'll insert some pictures. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference. I'll check and see if I have um, full body pictures of before. And I'll show you what... 10 pounds lost looks like as of right now. So I'm really excited. I'm really motivated. I'm really happy. And I just plan to keep on and continue updating you guys. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. If this video is something that you uh, are interested in and you would like more videos like this, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye. When you're trying to do a video, and the kids won't go away. Huh? I came in the bathroom to get away. To get away. Why? Because I can't do the video like this. You guys are talking, you're playing, 